Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video, Caught Wife. Pics, videos with SRO officer at school she works at. It's been almost a week since I looked through my wife's phone and discovered she was having an affair with the SRO officer at the school where she works. We have a three-year-old kid, and the other man is also married with a child. She stated that it had been on and off for about six months. Last year, she became pregnant and miscarried at 12 weeks. My initial reaction was to wonder whether it belonged to me. She said that it was never physical and that it was always just words, photographs, and videos. I saw things I had never idea she was capable of. She informed me that she had been primarily unhappy during our marriage and that I had never been emotionally accessible to her. I'll confess that I was sometimes verbally aggressive. After telling her we needed time apart and dividing time with our kid, I spoke with an attorney and didn't like what he said. I earn nine times more than she does since she has never worked full time since we met, and we have spent a lot of time and money on modifications to our home, on top of the rental property I owned before to our marriage. I wasn't ready to begin that process, so I let her return. I've already begun counseling, but she hasn't, despite her assurances. A part of me regrets allowing her to return since she got away with little to no penalties. I believe I want to work things out with her, but I know she lies to me and is incredibly manipulative. I'm simply lost and sad, and I'm hoping that counseling would help me discover answers. A brief history. She became pregnant as soon as I completed my undergrad. She quit out and hasn't returned to finish. And after our baby was born, I jumped directly into my master's degree. I've never not worked full time, and I've been in the reserves for over seven years which she acknowledged to being largely connected with him on the weekends I was gone. I knew I was busy, but I simply assumed that was what I had to do. Weren't married when she became pregnant, in fact, we weren't even dating. I fell in love with her right away, even before she became pregnant. She has previously told me that this was forced and that she resents me for our relationship, and I previously told her that I'm not sure whether we'd be married if it weren't for our kid. Is there any light at the end of the tunnel for us? Update. This is an extremely emotional post. It went from advised to progress to need support many times. Please accept my apologies for my rambling. It's happened around 3.5 weeks after D-Day. I paid the retainer this week and will go in to sign some paperwork today. I'm going to take a hit since she doesn't earn much money, but I'll make it, as long as I can somehow negotiate me keeping the house. I ended up notifying AP wife, and we spoke for a few weeks trying to figure out what we could. They both told the same narrative of not being physical and relying only on photographs and videos. He did tell his wife that he could have done anything he wanted with her since she was so insistent, but he couldn't, so who knows? It doesn't matter to me, but if they're attempting to figure it out, more power to him. They still work together, but my STBX insists they don't talk, which makes no difference to me. Our current living condition is growing vexing. At first, I assumed we'd attempt to work things out. We're both in IC, but I informed her this weekend that I wanted a divorce and that I wanted her to go live with her mother, where she would surely end up since she can't afford anything on her own. She said that she would not leave since doing so would entail accepting responsibility for all that has happened, which she refuses to do. I want to retain the home since I can have someplace else to go to as quickly as she does, and our house is a gold mine with an unfinished expansion I stopped working on last month. She said I ignored her and was only concerned with job, graduate school, house projects, and so on. It's tough for me not to lose it when she continues to minimize her conduct. She claims that our marriage has been a disaster for as long as she can remember, and that she would rather be poor and feel loved than affluent and feel unappreciated. I've started leaving work earlier, bringing up our kid earlier, and giving her extra showers at night. It's not that I didn't want it previously. I simply worked late a lot and assumed she preferred doing that things. I informed her that my faults remained inside our family while hers left, but she still refuses to comprehend that our mistakes were different. I feel like I can accept I was a bad spouse, but I don't want to think I was a bad parent. We were planned to sell our home this month and live at her mother's house while we constructed on land we were scheduled to acquire this month as well. In August, I was departing for officer training with the Air National Guard. My board's test was scheduled on the 22nd of this month. I also took up the PT consulting gig to supplement my summer vacation funds. I know I pushed myself too far, but I've always done that. 
I'm just 26 years old, and I know I've done a lot, yet it seems like it was all for nothing. All of her plans have been broken, and she claims they were never hers. I attempted to get her viewpoint on a variety of issues, but she constantly said, I don't know. As a result, I was constantly in charge of making choices about work changes, relocation, money, and so on. I'm simply feeling lost in life right now, and I wish I knew what the future held for me. I'm still debating whether it's worth it to stick it out since her family is the only family I have, and it'll be tough to let that go on top of all the other changes. But I know deep down that it won't work out. I'm a planner, and I try to have both short-term and long-term plans. Obviously, things change, but this circumstance has totally derailed my line of thinking, and I honestly don't know what to do with anything anymore. Story 2 I thought my wife of one year was cheating on me, but I think she just needs more times with friends. I've been a nervous wreck, and I blame myself for a lot of it. I feel like such a... This all began around three weeks ago. I've been married to my wife for a year, but we've been together for four years. We were watching a YouTube video when they suggested, display yours or their text messages to check if they really trust you. So I decided to join in. Big blunder. I questioned why she said no, and she said no. She said that it is her private, and that she is not required to show me. I blew out when I saw a man called Andy on there for a little while. I was yelling, pacing, and going for a stroll when I decided to leave the home. She was so angry that she erased all of her text messages. There are two large red flags. It totally shattered my faith in her. I'm sure it worked the other way as well. There were no specifics in it that I could see. When she came around to me, she was telling him about me using marijuana and criticizing her based on her weight. I never judged her based on her weight. She has been on and off the Lido diet, and I wanted to question her about her progress. She dropped 50 pounds in a year, and I'm quite proud of her. I still think she's stunning. She is the most incredible and kind person I have ever met. In terms of marijuana, I smoked a lot while I was in college and cleaned up for her for three years. I smoked a couple of times a few weeks ago, and she was furious. I couldn't figure out why since it's legal in my state and my workplace no longer tests for it. I began smoking while she wasn't looking and told her. It irritated her greatly. I didn't figure out why until yesterday, more on it later. I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety since the entire affair with this Andy man. My wife has been coming home from work more weary recently, preferring to talk on the phone or check Facebook rather than spend more time with me. I work from home, so the loneliness, combined with her going out to visit her pals, whom I have never seen, has sent me into a panic attack. After all of this, I asked my wife if I might meet the man simply to get a sense of how he felt. It was nice, but it didn't take long for my anxieties to go. I've been smoking a lot more, eating less, sleeping less, and losing weight in the last several weeks. I mess up big time when I read through her text messages and Andy wasn't there. I was even following her whereabouts at work. I thought we needed assistance, so we enrolled in marital therapy. She informed the counselors that when she was 13, she was by a guy who was intoxicated and smoking. This came as quite a surprise. She told me bits and pieces, but she never put them all together. I feel terrible for attempting to get her to smoke. She promised me throughout our marriage that she would not do anything that would harm me. She has people that I should trust, but I'd want to see more love from her. We used to be much more intimate months ago, but I can see she's bored of this in my antics. She just wants to spend time with her coworkers. She had a good time, and it allows her to vent about concerns that her employees may have. My intellect tells me that I don't have to be with her all the time. I'm writing because I'm searching for encouragement to keep trusting her. I haven't informed anybody about this except my wife and the counselor, so I felt alone. We're doing better, and my physical health is improving, but I still suffer from time to time, and my anxiety skyrockets. Thank you for your time.